Hey, Gemini. Thank you so much for coming um, to your love reading. Uh, with that being said, this reading should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you guys that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. So sometimes you have to flip it. All right, guys. So I went ahead and I pulled an Oracle message um, for Gemini. And we have the Peacock Spirit. And it's about letting it shine. And I feel like... Here's what I think. I feel like during this time period, right now, we're in a place where we're thinking, right? We're definitely in our head, right? Processing everything pertaining to love, right? And we're in a very safe place right now. However, all of our emotions and that type of thing are tied to this heart on the other end. And I think that your message overall being the peacock spirit it's really about getting out of this kind of funky energy, right? This weird, um, don't take it the wrong way, Virgo, because I love Virgo. My, it was actually my son's birthday yesterday. Um, but it's about getting out of your head, thinking about everything, processing. It's like the mind of a Virgo is as much as Gemini and Virgo share Mercury, we go about it very differently, right? And I think we need to really get out there and have a level of fun. Look, right as I said that, look, the three of cups came up. Look, all these other cards flipped over. Really walk away from whatever is no longer serving you and have a good time. Go out there, get ready, get dressed, look fly, take pictures, and really allow people to see you for who you are. And when it comes to the relationship, I feel like it's necessary for you to show your person of interest, like, hey, look at me. I'm fly as hell. Do you not see all these colors on this, you know, on my feathers? Like, don't get it twisted. So I think that it's important. All right. Um, okay. For some of you guys, I am getting the feeling that there is a little bit of challenges or you feel a level of conflict, but I feel like it's more so with yourself or not being able to be with this person, right? As I said that the three of swords wanted to come up. So let's just hop in the reading and figure out what the hell is going on. All right. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Gemini? Overall energy for love and romance for Gemini. Okay. We have judgment. Who is Gemini dealing with romantically? Who is Gemini dealing with romantically? King of Pentacles. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. You also can be dealing with a Leo as well. Or this is somebody that may be older than you, Gemini, and somebody that um, is financially well off and somebody that's very, um, this is your person. Like you view them as the King of Pentacles, whether you're a male or a female. Like this person has a lot to offer, a lot of abundance. How does Gemini feel about their person of interest romantically? How does Gemini feel about their person of interest romantically? How does Gemini feel? Six of Swords, some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody that has a Mercury in Aquarius. Um, what is the current situation between Gemini and their person of interest? What's the current situation? Strength, what is behind it? With the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So there's Leo, there's heavy Taurus energy. This is Mercury in Taurus. And let's figure out what the hell the outcome is. What's the best potential outcome here for Gemini and their person of interest romantically? Finances and careers are here. Love yourself first. Best potential outcome, Gemini. Getting to know one another and reconciliation. Okay, getting to know one another. All right, I like it. Some of you guys have somebody new coming in here and some of you guys are getting to know the person that you've been with for a while, but you're seeing different aspects or different areas of them. Let's clarify. All right, what's the overall energy here for love and romance? Overall energy here for love and romance? Passion. And who is Gemini dealing with romantically? What's their overall energy? Ascending. <laughs> How does Gemini feel about them? Sunglasses. We're stalking them. We're watching them. We're watching their ass like a hawk. Um, what is the current situation between these two romantically? What's the current situation between these two romantically? Woo! 
heart with the key. Yes. All right. So, Gemini, the overall energy for the month is judgment, and that is mixed with passion. So for me, that's kind of like an intense energy, right? Um, I feel like this there's an insane chemistry between you and this person. And I feel like it's, it's, it's like nothing you've ever had before. Right. And I think that you both enjoy each other equally. And I feel like now is the time where you're having fun. I also feel like with that paired with judgment, there's something here where this month you're being called for a higher purpose. Okay. Judgment is also like a resurrection. So this may be somebody from the past coming forward it's also, I feel like, a new birth of a situation or a new birth of a part of this relationship, right? And I think that whatever's happened in the past between you and this person, there's something here where you're forgiving them and you're also forgiving yourself at the same time. And you're able right now to see clearly with exactly what you want and why this situation or this relationship was put in front of you, okay? Be careful because you want to make sure that you're very clear with what you want from somebody, okay? You also want to make sure that you're not being too cautious and really think right now about your personal patterns and um, making sure that you're not judging or blaming anybody, okay? Harnessing your energy right now um, for something that's that's coming because there is something very big that's coming here, especially when it does come to judgment, why is judgment here? Why is judgment here for the overall energy? Some of you may be seeing this person because, you know, Gemini's like people at a fucking distance. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. You're being given something. Okay. This is something that's very deep rooted. Let's take a look at this really quick. So we have the pentacle. The person's hands are open. It's like, it's a gift. Here you go. And if you can see, it already has the roots, right? This is already something where if you plant it, it's going to grow because it, the, the roots are already there, right? There is a lot of potential here. I feel like this is a new start for a lot of you guys. I feel like um, this is also getting into some type of relationship, something that you've been thinking about for a while or something that's been bothering you. Ew, look at this. Ew, ew, ew. Hello, Mr. Emperor, come the hell through, okay? There's Aries or Scorpio. You're being offered something from this emperor, okay? This emperor, let me tell you something. This fool's moved so slow because take a look what he has in his hand. He's playing chess. He's not playing checkers, okay? This is a person that's very um, deliberate. This is somebody that takes a while to come to some type of decision and I feel like this emperor is finally making this offer to you, this offer of, hey, this is it. Whether it's a ring, whether it's a relationship, whatever it may be, there's something here. One more card here for the overall energy for Gemini. But there's a decision that's being made here, and it's one that somebody sat on for a while. Holy cannoli, okay? For those of you uh, Italians out there, does anyone like cannolis? Yo, I love cannolis. Okay, side note. Sorry, my bad. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Yo, you guys are either going to be getting into a very, very serious, serious commitment. There's a lot of abundance also coming this month. Like you may be stressed out financially for a period of time, but don't trip chocolate chip because it is coming in here. Um, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. There is a huge potential here on a lot of prosperity especially with this queen of um, pentacles, okay? That is abundance. The queen of pentacles is abundance. It's Capricorn energy, cancer energy. It's a lot of security. Um, it's also to the queen of pentacles. This is Saturn, right? And when Saturn comes through, come through Saturn, come through. It's a very strong and successful material vibration, first of all. It's also to, think about it, this is karma, right? It's karma if you've done the right thing, if you've really put in the work, if you've done the right thing when it comes to this person, everything is going to come full circle. I am going to say this, though, because I do get the feeling that you're in your emotions or that, you know, you are going back and forth about something, that you're so conflicted about some type of situation. But I feel like that's all going to get cleared up. 
And I feel like it starts with some type of conversation. Okay. Your partner is ascending with the King of Pentacles. You have the King and the Queen. So we definitely have a pair. This is somebody that provides you a level of security, whether it's financial security, emotional security, um, spiritual security. There's something here that with this person, you and them are transcending whatever obstacles are, are in your way. You're learning about one another. There's a lot of expansion going on. I feel like you're coming into a new phase here and you're really preparing to see one another at a completely different level. You need some more information about Gemini's book, person of interest, 10 of pentacles, Virgo, that's Venus and Virgo or Mercury and Virgo. Ooh, with the page of wands. I love it. This, this is, this is somebody that one, okay. The fact that they're coming in with the emperor and the king of pentacles, this is somebody that is very strong rooted to being the top dog, right? Whether it, whether you're a male or a female, this is somebody that is very set in their ways. Okay. This is somebody that can be controlling at times. However, I do think that there is something here that's very like, you're very optimistic about what's going on. The, the 10 of pentacles. I mean, that's security. Love is in the details here. I feel like this person doesn't like when you're upset or when things are out of order and they always want to do the right thing. Like there's something here about always wanting to do the right thing. And there is a level of culmination that's coming. Okay. Why are you showing me this? This 10 of pentacles with the page of wands. Some of you may be having, maybe you guys have a child together. You may work with this person or you may be working on a project. Woo. Look how that flipped. Okay. We have temperance. There's sad energy. You know, it's interesting. <laughs> and I just opened the deck and you have the, Queen, the King of Cups here, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, also Leo energy. I feel like this person is very balanced. This person is very patient. This person has probably gone back and forth a couple of times with you or even put you like hold up, right? Because Gemini wants to move forward very quickly. Well, I feel like this person is like, I'm still figuring out the details. Okay, Cancer Pisces. Um, this person is emotionally secure. This person is emotionally intelligent and they understand that time is needed in order to really build this Ten of Pentacles, right? It's not the Ten of Cups, it's the Ten of Pentacles because it's something very solid here. If you take a look at these cards really quick, I, I, wanna, I wanna make a note because usually Gemini doesn't get this, right? Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor, Judgment, um, King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This is this is a situation that is very secure. This is this is this is something that's really going to start transforming over a period of time. I do feel like though that this person's probably tried to keep you at bay for a period of time, but I feel like they can't help it anymore. It's like they're finally willing to take that first step with you. How you feel about them? We have watching our sunglasses with the Six of Swords. And, you know, uh, watching, looking, stalking, very focused. I think that we're very focused on what they're doing. Um, you may see something, especially with the Six of Swords here. There's some type of conversation, and that's Mercury and Aquarius. Um, it's It's having a conversation but it's like how are we going to go from here right like the six of swords for me is a transition it's like you're having a conversation and that conversation is now trans transitioning into something bigger so for instance if you guys live a live at a distance you're going to have a conversation with what are we doing here um one of us has to move who's going to move having that hard conversation and then really watching and seeing what that person does What's being said here with this Six of Swords? What's being said here? What's being communicated? Please, Spirit. Okay, hold on. Let me ask one more time because these cards are wonky. What's being communicated here for how Gemini feels about this person? What's being communicated here? The Three of Pentacles. What's being communicated here for Gemini and this person? Knight of Wands. When am I going to see you again? Nine of Cups. 
I think that this person is at a distance. Let me ask, um, what's the energy of this Three of Cups? What's the energy of this Three of Cups here? What's the energy of this Three of Cups for Gemini? Eight of Wands. Okay. Travel. Communication. For some of you guys, somebody needs to leave a third party situation behind. I'm going to be honest. Um, and... I don't know if it's on your side or your partner's side. <clears throat> you know, with Gemini's, Gemini's deal with, okay, cross watchers, earmuff it really quick. Gemini's deal with a lot of people, right? But Gemini's always have that one person that they love, that one person that, that, that that's it for them. Like they may entertain, they may have, we may have conversations with other people just to buy time, but it's nothing serious. And I feel like for you guys right now, it's like you're really settling into the person that you want. And I think that you're having these tough conversations because I do think that this conversation is not, it's, it's not all, you know, like cupcakes and roses. I feel like it's, when am I going to see you again? I want to see you. Like there's a lot of passion here. You feel very passionate towards this person. You feel like this person is your family. Um, that's Mercury in Cancer. I mean, that's a pretty... With Mercury and Cancer, I'm going to be honest, it's like, this is a very emotional, like, I feel you're, you're very emotional because you're very sensitive when it comes to this person. And it's like, you may appear defensive towards them because of your emotions. So if this person says something and it hurts your feelings, you may get very emotional. Three of Cups. But... This person fulfills you emotionally. Nine of Cups, you have Pisces, uh, Jupiter and Pisces. Um, there's something definitely here, I feel like. And I don't mean to sound weird, but it's very deep. There's something very spiritual about this. And for some reason, I feel like this month, it, there is a level of quietness a little bit. Because it's forcing you to think about what you want and then communicate that. And I feel like this, I do feel like this is linked to a past life situation. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, the moment that you've laid eyes on them, you knew that it was a soulmate connection. You're like, that's it for me. You you, you knew immediately. And I feel like when, what's been stalled prior, it's now starting to pick up and now it's starting to catch a little bit of momentum. Where's the Eight of Wands going towards? The wheel of fortune what did i just say it's catching momentum i think for you guys you and this person have had a tough conversation a conversation that may have hurt your feelings but at the same point in time you and this person are now moving forward because you've got out whatever you had to get out everything is out in the open and now things are moving very quickly it's like that snowball effect where it's like, it just starts to go and go and go and go. And it just, once it gets going downhill, it's like, oh shit, good luck stopping it. Right? Like there's something definitely here to that. And here's the thing with the Wheel of Fortune. You have to understand that there's a time and a season for everything. Both people may love each other, but it may not be the right time. I feel like it's starting to be the right time here. Karmic forces are at play. There's a lot of balance between light and dark and understanding the natural cycles of how things go, right? And I feel like right now things are unfolding um, around you. So it's, it's beautiful here because things are changing and they're changing rapidly and they're changing very quickly, much quicker than you think. Okay. Now we have heart with a key with your situation and its strength with the five of pentacles. And <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I feel like this. I feel like you've already acknowledged that this person is your person. Okay. You've already acknowledged like, hey, I love this person. I think that you guys getting together and really opening your heart up. I think that that's key, especially when it comes to strength, right? Because strength is all about opening yourself up opening your heart up, um, doing things, right? Leading, uh, the ability to lead, um, being very loyal, very confident, right? It's a level of confidence in the relationship. And I think that right now your situation is there's a lot of fears that are being um, faced here 
And it's being done with love, with the strength of love and the strength of patience. And you both are in a position where you have to trust this other person and you have to use whatever power to embrace Gemini, especially it's like getting out of your head and really allowing your heart to lead you. You have everything right now with this situation that's going to be successful, but I do feel like there's something here with the five of pentacles and being alone. It's like a challenge. It's like feeling left out. There's something here about still feeling left out. Why? What's, why is the five of pentacles here? And you know, the five of pentacles, that's Mercury in um, Taurus, right? And with a Mercury in Taurus, I'm going to be honest, that's somebody that takes a long time to come to some type of decision. Um, why? Why is the five of pentacles here for the current situation? With the queen of wands. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries or a Cancer or a Leo or a Sag. What, how does Gemini feel about this queen of wands? The eight of pentacles. Okay, so I feel like this queen of wands is either you or it's your person. I feel like this. I feel like... I feel like with the five of pentacles here... You're trying to be strong because things are taking a little bit longer than normal. And I think during this time period, you just feel lost. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, you're right there at the brink of things busting open, but you're still waiting for the key. And I feel like your person has the key, but it's just taking a little bit longer. What do you want me to tell them about their current situation? And I also think too, like the situation may be that your person is not letting you in to what exactly they're doing or what exactly they're thinking. They may not be showing those emotions, but here's the thing. If it's the emperor, if you're dealing with the emperor and the king of pentacles, they're not going to show their, they're, they're not going to show their hand. The emperor is the emperor because he moves in silence. He does things. He has everything mapped out prior to him making some type of move. One more card here for the overall energy Ooh. for Gemini. One more card here for the overall energy for Gemini with love and romance. Or not the energy, but what's the overall uh, situation between Gemini and this person? One more card. Okay. The devil. With the eight of pentacles. I just think that there's a strong attachment here. And I think Aries got this as well. There's this very strong attachment here. But I feel like somebody's trying to fight it. Somebody's trying to work on it. But somebody is like really understanding that whatever challenges you guys are having, it, it's still a level of growth. So just understand that this attachment is so strong and it's making you question everything. But don't. Because remember, you have the peacock spirit. The peacock spirit's 46. That's one. That's the ability to stand alone with a strong vibration. That's being confident. That's embracing your self-expression, right? That's um, taking the lead when it comes with love and willing to experience lots of excitement um, during this time period. And you may just be like, when is the next time I'm going to see this person? What is the next step here? Okay. Your outcome is getting to know one another with the Ace of Cups. There's something here that's definitely said, Gemini, where it's pertaining to, like, getting to know one another. I feel like it's not physically getting to know, but I feel like it's somebody that's expressing this level of intimacy and this level of love. And there's something that's being revealed here pertaining to love. And with that being said, Gemini, I love you guys and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.